So when people are driving around streets, they look at all these street names and does anybody ever wonder why they got their names and how they got their names? Well, we're gonna be talking about the Lakewood street names right after this. Now, Marshall Boyer, who is the son of Lewis Boyer, one of the three founders of Lakewood, which I did a video on that right here. You can check that out, great informational video. Well, apparently he was in charge of naming a majority of the streets in the Lakewood subdivisions. But before we get on that, let's take care of a little bit of business really quick, and then this is gonna be a short, fun video. My name is Steve Arthur, and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and Lakewood and all of the surrounding cities. So if this is our first time meeting here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I do put out a video, and go ahead and maybe hit that like button if at the end you like it, because I could use a pat on the back. All right? So the Lakewood street names. So Marshall started off with Johanna Avenue, which is named after Johanna Dobson, the daughter of his father's lawyer. I wonder if he had a crush on her. Flangel and Frank Hale streets are named after two of his formal schoolmates, Harold Flangel and Jerry Flankel. So he had a hard time telling them apart in school, so when he named the streets after them, he put them four blocks away so that he could identify them. Now, streets named McKnight, Manis, Redline, and Scroll. Now, these names honored Boyer's business associate. So, Mr. Boyer always said that he was going to name a street Gloria after his girlfriend. And for some silly reason, that name just did not make the cut. So instead, we got Ionetta, named after his grandmother. Now, Boyer also wanted to name streets Dwight, Eisenhower, Mammy, and Nixon because Eisenhower had so many streets already named after it in cities nearby. So what he did end up with is Nixon, Eisenhower, and Mammy, Eisenhower's wife. Boyer named Chester Rourke Drive for Chester Rourke, his father's bookkeeper. And Steveley Avenue was named after Alice Steveley, a secretary for a Los Angeles congressman. Wonder if he had anything to do with the development here, huh? All red in dollar. Now these are named after servicemen who were reported missing in action in Korea. And Bomberry, that was named after Sergeant Robbie Bomberry, who survived a North Korean massacre of captured American soldiers and he returned home. Now, if you went to Lakewood High School, you obviously you went to a party on this street. I don't know why, but there seemed to be always a party on this street. Freckles. Well, the bad news is Boyer named Freckles after his Cocker Spaniel. So it's not really the party street that, sh that is portrayed. And Yearling, well, that was named after the movie of the same name. And let's not forget Hackett. That's named after the all-time great comedian, Buddy Hackett, who was best known at that time as being a great nightclub performed. And according to a 1954 story in the Long Beach Press-Telegram, Dunrobin, a name chosen by a county engineer, is named after the castle Dunrobin in Scotland. Tanglewood was originally called Tanglefoot after baseball's legendary player Lou Gehrig. But when all the paperwork was submitted and everything, the county register submitted changed out foot and changed it to wood to go with the theme of Lakewood. So Tangle Foot was out and Tangle Wood was in. And of course, Marshall could not leave out his mom, Dee, so he had to name a street after his mom, Dee Boyer. Now, names in the Mayfair track north of South Street, now those were the idea of Charles Hooper. He was an early developer of the Montana Ranch. So there, of course, you got Hedda as in Hedda Hooper. You have Fiddler as in Jimmy who were Hollywood gossip columnists at that time. Autry, obviously that is Gene, the man. Pierce, Al, and Herschel, who is Gene Herschel. Now these were famous 1940s radio stars. Now other streets here in Lakewood honored radio characters such as Dagwood, Bumstead, Amos and Andy, and Lorelei, Kilborn. So I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and a little bit fun. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. 
Again, my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and Lakewood and all the surrounding cities. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about moving to the Long Beach area, all you gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or just register on my website for your free gift and I will personally get hold of you. Until next time, you take care.